A central Texas soldier who spent the last 11 years in Leavenworth for war crimes that he insists he didn't commit is anxiously awaiting a decision from the Army's Clemency and Parole Board this evening. This is the fourth time Sergeant John Hatley's case has come up for a review, and there's a growing number of people who are hoping the fourth time will be the charm. And soon, Sergeant Hatley will be on his way back home to Grosbeck. But this is a guy that has absolutely no business being in prison in Leavenworth or anywhere. Behind these glass doors at a building in Arlington, Virginia, the Army's Clemency and Parole Board got an earful from supporters of this man, First Sergeant John Hatley of Grosbeck. He's been serving hard time in Leavenworth for the murder of four Iraqi detainees after a mission in Iraq. A conviction, supporters say, based not on evidence, but the questionable testimony of two soldiers who were already facing discipline for other crimes and were eager to make a deal with prosecutors. This is what I told the parole board. You have to come to grips with the fact you have a man of in such integrity. He's not going to come what he tell you what you want to hear. He's going to tell the truth. And truthfully, he didn't commit four murders. Louis so Gomer is a congressman from so East Texas. Now. He's part of a delegation of congressmen troubled by the injustice of the Army justice system. So is Central Texas Congressman Bill Flores. They're hoping this show of force will be hard to ignore. I mean, if I were in the parole board, I would think it would make a difference that you have six members of Congress that are passionate about this case, as well as several others. We're part of what we call the Justice for Warriors Caucus, and we're going through trying to address issues like this where we've got uh, servicemen and women in prison uh, for a variety of reasons that need to be reviewed. Hatley's guilt or innocence is not something the parole board is looking at. Rather, is he a threat to society? Is the time served just punishment if there was a crime? And does he have support from back home in Grosbeck if he is released? His attorneys feel that's a lock. And the kind of support that is out there for John Hatley and the kind of guy he is, uh, I can't see that any decision here would be anything other than to release him. And to add to that, too, John has a 20-year impeccable combat record, and then the time that he's been in confinement has also been impeccable. His family back home in Grosbeck will be on pins and needles until the board announces its decision, which will likely take a week or two. But they are comforted in the fact that his case has attracted a lot of high-profile attention from people who aren't likely to give up. Having the congressman here meant the world to me and our family because it just it's just gonna it's just shining more light on on a on a tragic story. Until Sergeant Hatley is back home. I will be here until he's out of prison and I'll be home in Grossback when they bring him home as a hero. Sergeant Hatley has been recommended for parole before, only to have it denied by then-Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Army, Francine Blackman, who didn't even attend the parole hearing. And there's a new Deputy Assistant Secretary now, so Hatley, his family, his attorneys, the congressional delegation, and thousands of supporters around the country are hoping this time will be different. And Hatley will be home in time for Thanksgiving. Congressman Flores says if that happens, he'll be spending his Thanksgiving in Grosbeck with a family that has a lot to be thankful for.